All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to be in the 168 pound division where we have the best fight that we know about taking place this year coming up on Saturday, and that is the bout between David Benavidez, the uh, Alban, uh, what is it, the red flag? I don't speak Spanish, so I don't want to say El Bandido. Uh, Roja and Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. And we have predictions coming up for the fight that, man, I have to tell you, they're wild. But hey, man, this may be the first time that I really, really do in a while that I really, really do not see how this is going to happen in a fight. But Sean Porter gives a prediction, as does some other people, about who's going to win the fight. So let's talk about that. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this bit video, we're going to be in the 168 pound division where one of the best fights that can be made in a fight that I've been looking forward to and wanting to see for several years now is now taking place this weekend on March 25th. And it is the fight between David Benavidez, the former WBC uh, 168, 168 pound champion and Caleb Plant, the former, I do believe he was the IBF 168 pound champion who lost his title to Canelo Alvarez, but returned in, in spectacular fashion to knock out Anthony, the dog Darrell, uh, to get himself back in contention, uh, for a title shot. Now, before I get into the details of it, though, let me welcome you back to the channel. If you are new, please hit that subscribe button, share the video, hit the like. If you are a longtime subscriber and supporter, thank you so much again. Going to continue to thank you for your support um, in the super thanks of these videos that we do. Um, and also, uh, thank you so much for just tuning in, watching the videos, leaving comments. Really does make having the boxing channel fun and it makes it and it helps it prosper. So thank you very, very much. All right. So David Benavidez, man, to me, it's a beast. Absolutely love the dude as a fighter. The one of the the type of guy that is my favorite type of fighter to watch. There's different styles of fighters in boxing, right? You got the boxer, you got the boxer, uh, boxer puncher, you got the brawler. All of that, those different ways that people categorize uh, fighters. For me, I like a fighter that is very aggressive, but I like somebody that has a good jab, is able to, you know, is, has decent defense, but is able to break you down over the course of fight, over the course of the fight um, and get the stoppage and get the stoppage win. Um, fighters like that uh, and have been and are guys like Errol Spence Jr., Anthony, uh, uh, Andre Ward was somebody who was terrific in that regard. Uh, Bernard Hopkins is terrific in that regard. Also, obviously, you've got, you know, fighters uh, from Mexico uh, and Mexicans from America that had that style as well. One guy that is very famous for that. Um, and I'm not saying they all fight each other. I'm just saying fight like that in that particular way. But somebody that really does over the course of the body, just over the course of the fight, just wear you down. And so Julio Cesar Chavez uh, uh, Sr. comes to mind with that. Um, that kind of just brutal style, man, where over time, man, they're coming to get you. And that's what I like out of David Benavidez. And now you also have Caleb Plant, who is uh, the quintessential boxer. Now, he does have power. Don't get me wrong. But somebody that really does, you know, make you hits, hits, tries to hit and not get hit. Right. Very, very good feet. Uh, athletic. Right. Fast hands uh, will run combinations off on you and get up out of there. That type of very, very classic matchup that we have. However, as I've talked about and seen for the seen this fight for the pretty much the entire time that at least David Benavidez has been in that in that division at the top of that division. I've always thought that David Benavidez will break down 
Caleb Plant, because eventually Caleb Plant is going to have to start stop and fight in front of David Benavidez. And also David Benavidez is somebody that has extremely, extremely fast hands and he has a, and he has a good job, a job, a jab. So if you're trying to get shots off on him, that shot, that shot's coming right back at you. And of the two fighters, I've always thought that David Benavidez has the faster hands. Now, so that's how I saw the fight. However, as of recently, there's a lot of predictions coming out in this fight where, about this fight that, like, say that David Benavidez is going to get knocked out in the later rounds. The latest guy to say that is Sean Porter, right? Now, before that, I can't recall the other people that, other. I think, um... Bernard Hopkins also said that he could see Caleb Plant breaking down and stopping David Benavidez, but definitely Sean Porter has just now said that. Um, And I think that, you know, that is just a really, really interesting take on that, man. Very interesting take on that. Now, I don't know if they're if they are, um, you know, what do you call it? Um, Captives of the moment, seeing as you saw. In the very last fight with Caleb Plant, you saw that happen with Anthony Durrell, where uh, where that double hook, that double left hook found home for Caleb Plant and stopped uh, stopped Anthony Durrell. Uh, um, Or what or maybe they've seen something in David Benavidez because David Benavidez is somebody that is going to be in front of you and is, you know, capable of taking some shots. He's similar, in my opinion, similar to Gervonta Davis in a way that he'll use a high guard and block, you know, block and kind of catch some shots on the gloves. But whenever you do that, some of those shots are going to get through. So maybe they think that there's some defensive um, some defensive uh, uh, holes in the game of David Benavidez. Uh, But whatever the case is, I don't think it's because you've seen any type of issue with David Benavidez's chin. Right. Because I've never I don't I think I might have seen him a knockdown called a slip called as a knockdown. Maybe one time, I think maybe against. um, Oh, God, man, was that not Medina? But it was it was the guy that he had to fight two times. Uh, the guy that he had to fight two times. And in the second fight, he really kind of he really kind of dominated him um, earlier in his career, maybe like three or four years ago. But other than that, I, I don't see that. However, like I said, man, you know, there's enough people in, in my comment section that are saying, no, I got I got Caleb Plant. I got Caleb Plant. Um, and uh, and the tide, even though I do believe that David Benavidez is the favorite, the tide is really turned towards Caleb Plant. Now, in my live stream where I talked about this, I am going to also posit something here. And you guys can give me what you think in the comment section. I'd appreciate it if you did. Uh Where if you look at the way a lot of professional fighters, when they're asked for predictions for fights, they tend to ride with their team. So take, for example, um, when Tony Harrison fought Tim Zhu and Errol Spence Jr. bet said, oh, I'll bet ten thousand dollars that 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 Tony Harrison will upset Tim Zhu. Right. And then you see people things like, you know, Adrian Bronner will say he's like, yeah. They, oh, this is my guy. I'm putting my money on him. So they're putting the money up and riding with their fighter, but they're riding with their guy because it's their because that's their guy, right? Not necessarily because they're looking at it in a way that we're like, okay, yeah, this is um, yeah, my, I know my guy's gonna win the fight. Also, Andre Ward, when Andre Ward was talking about Caleb Plant and David Benavidez and the prediction that he made for that fight, for this fight coming up, uh. Uh, Andre Ward said, oh, man, Caleb Plant, that's my, I'm riding with Caleb Plant. Caleb Plant, that's my guy, man. I, and if you notice it, I think that I think a lot of those dudes are really cool with Caleb, Caleb Plant like that and are maybe calling this fight, maybe leaning a little bit more towards the guy that they like versus David Benavidez, who I don't really think gets around and is not as buddy buddy and as with this, some of these fighters as Caleb Plant is, especially with Caleb Plant's wife being who Caleb Plant's wife is, um, who, you know, basically is a commentator for PBC fights, for PBC fights on Fox. Right. So uh, it's just really, really interesting, man. I'm I'm actually shocked by the number of people that are picking Caleb Plant by knockout. Now, if he wins by decision, 
Hey, man, and hey, I would not be surprised if he could pull it off by this by decision. But at the same time, man, I just think that Ed, from what I've seen of David Benavidez, I think this dude is a terrific fighter, man. And it's going to be very, very difficult to beat him, especially with the amount of the volume of shots that he throws and the speed of his hands for those shots. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces. Thank you.